Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A mosquito is moving with a velocity v vector equal to 0 0.5 t square i unit vector plus 3t j unit vector plus 9k unit vector meter per second and accelerating in uniform conditions what will be the direction of mosquito after 2 seconds here we have given four options option a 10 inverse 2 by 3 from x axis option b 10 inverse 2 by 3 from y axis option c 10 inverse 5 by 2 from y axis and last D option 10 inverse 5 by 2 from x axis. This question is related to the vector and uh, motion in a straight line. Actually, what we have given that your velocity t vector is equal to 0 0.5 t square i unit vector plus 3 t j unit vector plus 9 q unit vector meter per second. But here in the condition is given that uniform acceleration. Okay, so here we have given that uniform acceleration. So let us first we have to differentiate of velocity with respect of time and uh, differentiate both the sides with respect of time. Now it became 0 0.5 into 2 t i plus 3 j and this value becomes 0. Okay. So here acceleration is equals to 0 0.5 into 2 that is 1 t i plus 3 j. Okay, here we can remove this one because it is understood 1 into t that is t. Okay, here but in this case we have given the time equal to 2 second. So here acceleration equals to 2i plus 3j. Okay, so here we get acceleration 2i plus 3j. If we have plotted the graph acceleration in the this graph x-axis horizontal and this is y as usual where the coordinate that is 2 and 3 here 2 and 3 2 is the component of x and 3 is the component of y means 2i and 3g okay let us consider this point is from alpha angle so tan alpha with respect of you have to consider this is base, this is perpendicular, and what is the value of perpendicular? That is 3. And what is the value of base? That is 2. So alpha equal to 10 inverse 3 by 2 in the direction of x axis. Okay. So and uh, let us again we have to consider this angle given any name beta. Okay. Then tan beta equal to according to this tan beta, this line is perpendicular, and now this line is considered that is the base. So here, what is the value of perpendicular? That is 2. And what is the base? That is 3. So beta equal to tan inverse 2 by 3 in the direction of y. Direction of y. Let's see which option is matching here. Tan alpha. Uh, 10 inverse 3 by 2 in the direction of x axis. Here 3 by 2 is what is found. Here beta equal to 10 inverse 2 by 3 in the y axis. So here is the option. Option B is correct. 10 inverse 2 by 3 from y axis. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success, all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.